Push Cube hooking you up with our first MMA bout. It's an amateur fight scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Coming out first, going to be fighting out of the red corner, standing five feet eight inches tall, weighing in 168.5 pounds with a current record of 0-1. He's an independent. Let's hear it for Kenneth Alley. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming out to the cage right now, we have Kenneth Alley. This young man is 28 years old, standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 168.5 pounds with a record of 0-1-0. What do we know about this guy, Ryan? Well, I know that he is an independent. Um, I do believe that we have seen him here on the show before. Um, I know that he's been pretty excited about this. I've seen some of his posts on uh, social media. It's something that he's been wanting to do. I think he's been out of the cage for a little bit. Yeah, I believe that not that long, but it was back in August. So he's missed maybe, I think this would be the third show if he wasn't able to fight since his last fight. So got you, got you. It, it's been a little while, but he, uh, he is coming in off of a loss in his one fight to, I want to say, George Serrano. Okay, okay. And uh, he lost uh, by guillotine choke, so this is kind of that I got, I got to get it back, right? <laughs> My one time in the cage was the loss, so I got to come back and I got to win. And like you said, you've seen some of his posts. If you're friends with him on social media, you know that he's been looking forward to this. It's something he's been amped up about. But the question is, what has he been doing? That's what I was going to say. Exactly. What has he been doing in the meantime to change that? I mean, he's a change. hope he's got a good guillotine defense now. Hopefully, at a minimum. That, that's, that would be the idea. Absolutely. All right, let's uh, see what his opponent looks All right, like. and his opponent tonight is fighting out of the black corner, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, with a matching record of 0-1. Another independent, let's hear it, for Brennan Light. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Brennan Light walking out right now. He outran the music. He stands six foot even he is 170 even on the dot and he has a record of 0-1 and 0 so again we have a great matchup here he's an independent also yes what else do we know about the guy well uh i know that he's an independent but he's coming out with jeremy horn <laughs> okay. so since his last fight he's definitely been doing something right He's been in a, with a reputable coach, uh -huh. a reputable gym, and getting some work. Now, there are a lot of gyms out there that just because you train there doesn't mean you get to claim that that's where you're fighting out of. Agreed. You have to earn that right, and I believe that Jeremy Horn's Elite Performance is one of those gyms that you have to put in your dues before you are an Elite Performance fighter or a Jeremy Horn fighter. Now, his last fight was against Nicholas Lopez all the way back in 2020, uh -huh. just before the pandemic. He actually fought that January okay. before we went on a very long hiatus. Yes, yes, a big hiatus for a while. So I, I'm not sure how long he's been in there, but he's got a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tattoo on his chest. So, or sorry, not a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I always see the triangles, I immediately think of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu <laughs> with these guys. No, sorry, he's got a big old Viking symbol on his chest. So. Obviously, he's a warrior. I'm excited to see what he comes here and does after getting in and getting some work with a very reputable trainer. Well, we'll see what he did. We'll see what he did in the in the mean in the loss. Do we know how he lost last time? Um, let's see, I believe that he lost by unanimous decision. Okay, okay. So he made it all the way. Yes. So he's at least experienced, you know, the the full range of things. Yes. The the awful nine minutes of action <laughs> in the amateur world that it, it doesn't sound like a lot but it takes forever to get there so it, it it's grueling especially if you do not have the gas in the tank to get there well here you go here's kind of the tale of, of two independents that kind of went it looks like maybe one of them started to get himself into the gym let's see how it turned out for him Ooh, well, nice. he landed his first one. Nice right by Bro. Ooh, it did start turning out great. Big hands from Kenneth Alley. Ooh, Kenneth and with heavy hands. Just kind of topples Brandon Light over, and Brandon is trying to stay in this fight. He's staying active Ooh. on his defense, but he is not doing anything to improve 
until now, of yeah, course. He's, now he's up, standing up. But he ate a lot from Kenneth Alley really early. Wait, Kenneth think he's got that guillotine. He lost by one. Let's see if he wants to get one back by one. He's, he's got it in pretty deep for only having a half, uh, half guard on him. And there's the tap. He's getting the tap. Beautiful he got job. one back. One for one on guillotine chokes for Kenneth Th Alley. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Look at that man in there. Outstanding. Yes, yes. Wow. Beautiful performance. He came out there and, and, and he, he he turned things around. He, Big heavy hands and I think yes. changed I, I the tide of that fight. I don't think Brandon Light was ready for the hands or the the, the power behind the hands of Kenneth Alley. That's that's I, what I think. He, he, he landed that first. Nope, here, watch right it. Here. He, yeah, nice one, two. Yeah, Brandon lands a good right one. Here. And then there. that first right hook that lands wobbles him. And then Kenneth just kept pushing. Great performance. Great performance. <laughs> Great job, Kenneth. And you know what? Keep your head up. You know, Brandon, it happens. Get out here. Hey, yeah, get that back. You know what? Everybody's got a puncher's chance, right? Yes. And, and you see All that. right, let's get both fighters so to the Brennan, center of the ring. Like, Please, both fighters to the center of the ring. Say, Do me a favor, make some noise. Great job. Keep working. And Kenneth Alley, man, that was phenomenal. Job. Your winner, 42 seconds into round number one, tapped out due to an arm in guillotine. Out of the red corner, Kenneth Alley. Kenneth, let me grab you over here. Beautiful performance, my friend. Look at that grin on your face. How does this feel? It feels amazing. <laughs> well, it was an amazing performance. You got some power in your hands, my friend. Thank you. I put in a lot of work. Well, you put somebody on the ground with them, so good job. Thank you. So, is that how you planned it, to finish it with a guillotine? Didn't you lose your last one by a guillotine, and now you got to get that back by a guillotine? It was not the plan, but I guess it works. Hey, I think it works out pretty well for your record. You lose by one, win by one, you're kind of even now. So what's next for Kenneth? Oh, I'll be back here soon. All right. Would you have any family sponsors, fans you want to thank? I want to thank my family, my friends, everyone that supports me. I wouldn't be here without them. That's the truth. Well, everybody, let me get a big round of applause for Kenneth Alley. Good job. You know, his pictures are going to look good. He didn't even mess up his hair. That was like less than a minute. You can always tell the guy that gets paid by the job, not paid by the hour. Congratulations, getting his first win, smiling big, Mr. Kenneth Alley.